We first told you yesterday that Governor Wimmer had signed a series of bills into law, most notably Wyatt's Law. And Fox 17 has reported on the legislation for years. And now that it's been passed, it'll establish a public child abuse registry here in the state of Michigan. And it's one that will keep a record of confirmed cases of child abuse or neglect. And this information will be searchable by parents, guardians, and the public. But Wyatt's Law is actually uh, made up of several different bills, uh, the full package of which is sponsored by Grand Rapids Representative David Legrand. David, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Now, everything that is going to be changing here has to deal with Michigan's central registry. First, let's understand what exactly is that? Sure. So our Child Protective Services investigates cases and if necessary intervenes in families but then it puts a group of people on a, on a on a list a registry and that registry follows people around and can affect their ability to get housing and employment uh, and when I babysit in my church nursery they check to see if I'm on this registry and this presenting problem that I saw with this list and that the agency had, uh, saw was that over time that list had just gotten unimaginably big, shockingly big. And so we had hundreds of thousands of Michigan citizens on a government watch list. Um, and we probably don't need hundreds of thousands of citizens on a government watch list. Mm -hmm. So for ahead. perspective, I think the number that you brought up, how many hundreds of thousands? It, it was 470,000 parents on this list uh, at the beginning of the year. And as a result of this grouping of bills coming together, signed into law, that's going to be narrowed down to about 10% of that, which is amazing. So we're going to help about 400,000 people get off of this list, which is great. Now, the trick is we want to keep track of the people who are really of concern going forward. And that's where the Wyatt's piece interacts with shrinking this list. So historically, not everybody who should have been on that list was. And so uh, two big things were happening. One was right-sizing it. The other is making sure that we really were identifying people who were potentially risks to children. So that's the big change that people can see. What's the benefit that comes out of that change for parents who are hoping to, you know, like you said, do some research before they, they make any moves in their own personal life? Well, one of the things it means is that um, uh, places like daycares are going to have access to simply better information. Uh, another thing is that people are going to be able to see track information about who's taking care of their child, whether it's a custodial parent or whether it's not a custodial parent. Um, the other uh, big part of this is that we're going to be able to um, have a lot more people to be able to be foster parents. So we don't have time to get into this, but the, 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 this is going to just open up hundreds of thousands of new good possible placements for foster care. So that's really exciting too. Mm -hmm. And Wyatt's Law, I think, as we all know, is, is kind of at the center. It's the focus of everything that we're talking about, but it's a part of this larger package of bills. How did everything come together to make this happen? Well, I, I always say I'm a small C conservative. I'm a Democrat, but um, you know, the government should only be doing the things we want the government to do. And so an opportunity for Democrats and Republicans to come together and right size a list, but also improve public safety, those chances don't come along very often. So um, really, I, I mean, it's sort of shocking and wonderful, but every single member of the Michigan House, every single member of the Michigan Senate voted for this package. So don't let people tell you that we can't do bipartisan work in Lansing. We were all in on this one. Yeah, bipartisan is important, something that is sometimes I guess is few and far between in the state of Michigan, but not when it comes to this. Yeah. It was real. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming here and sharing uh, your perspective about this and how we got it all done. So thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, I and mean, I'm sure we'll, this won't be the last time that we talk about this yeah. now that everything's been passed. Yeah. Very happy. All right. Thanks. Fantastic. Thanks so much.